Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer Miller, also known as Out This Winter. I am a mother, I am a, um, an author, <laughs> and I am a makeup addict. Uh, if this is your first time visiting my channel, this is Writing Wednesday, and on Wednesdays I talk about all things writing. My writing, other people's writing, etc. Um, I also, on Thursdays, well, on Mondays and Tuesdays, I talk about makeup. Thursdays is up in the air, and Fridays is Family Fun Friday. However, today is Writing Wednesday, and we, as you can see by the thumbnail, are talking about, well, today is a book review, and I actually am really excited. I love book reviews. I, when I first started my channel, I was, one of the things I was really excited about doing was book reviews. I think it's a, a chance to give back, B, I just, I love reading, and C, I just, I like, I like being able to do it. I don't know why. Don't ask. I just, well, you can ask, but I won't be able to tell you. I just, oh. I like doing book reviews. Um, oh. Yeah, it's definitely a way to give back to my fellow indie authors and, well, or even big name authors, whatever, you know, just authors in general. So. Without further ado, let's get started. Well, let's talk about, you know, let's talk about what we're going to talk about. Anyway, uh, the book I just got done reading is called A Human Story by Stella Jones. It is a werewolf in human story. Yeah. And um, what I like about this book there's a lot I actually like about it. First off, let's talk about her style of writing. <clears throat> she kind of gives you a preface warning right at the beginning, but she does write a little different. But my thing about it, and I've seen a lot of authors do this, she has several points of view. Not just the main two, but several points of view. I've seen many authors do this. Me, I'm old fashioned. I come from the whole um, bit of either male and female or just the female or just the male, but that doesn't, this one's been a while. Um, it's all second person. No, it's actually, yeah, I think it's all second person. So, uh, <coughs> it's a um, third person, my bad. Anyway, she, um, very, very descriptive. Uh, it's not a drop of water. It's not a cold drop of water. It's a cold drop of water that sends a chill down her spine that makes her feel like she's never felt before. She remembers a time when she felt this way one time a long time ago. It's like someone walking over her grave. You know what I'm saying? She's extremely... She draws you into the story. She really does. She makes you feel what they feel. She makes you see what they see. She makes you hear what they hear, smell what they smell. She's extremely descriptive, which I love, which is, as an author, something I lack it. And she really called me to attention for that. That's another reason I, I love reading, to see other styles of authors, to see where I'm lacking, to see where I can, you know, bump it up a bit, just in general. But, um, my gosh, I got something over here. Yeah, that's lovely. Uh, she um, is, is a really unique story. It is. It starts out in the point of view of Alonzo and Celeste. Um, Celeste is pregnant with her, and I'm not only going to give you a little bit of the first. Now she gives you the first seven chapters for free, um, if you want to read the first seven chapters. There's. It's quite a long book. I will say that it's quite a lengthy book. Um, took me longer than it did my last book to read, but still, um, still good, and it still flowed right through. I loved that part of it. Um, it's, it's not for the penny. There are some scenes in there. And I like that part too. But um, that's your preference. I I like how she describes that too. The actor of. 
but at the same time, I'm more of a bedroom type of gal. Um, I like the romance more than I like this act, the physical. I liked, I like feeling. I like the build up, the relationship. That's my thing. I love the relationship, but it's really cute because it, she talks about how wolves, for how wolves, werewolves, wolves see people or humans, and it's just it's things we do that she nails, and it's like we do do that, don't we? Oh yeah, that's kind of huh. We do do that. It's really interesting. So, yeah, I definitely. Oh, sorry, my bad. I'm new to this whole gig, and I can't wait to get better and better and better. And I'm going to get better, and better, and better. <clears throat> Starts out in Alonzo and Celeste's um, point of view, and they are not actually the main characters, or that's not who the story really revolves around. It revolves around Sisson and Ezekiel. Um, Sisson is. Not Celeste's blood sister, but they act, they're, I'm, I'm assuming, I've never really, unless I missed that part, I assume they're just best friends, but they are they treat each other like sisters, you know what I mean? Um, but they're really close. And um, Ezekiel is Alonzo's business partner. Well, Ezekiel meets Sisson for the first time when Celeste is having her baby. That's at the beginning of the story, so that's not a really a spoiler alert. <coughs> um, sorry, heard a noise. <laughs> As right away, Sisson and Ezekiel hit it off. You can see the physical attraction between the two of them. And it's so cute, the way they act. And I just, it is, it is adorable. Um, I just, I like seeing their relationship built. And um, that's basically who the story is about. It's an Ezekiel. And you go in from there. And it's, it's, it's very good. Very good story. Um, I'm going to give this out of four stars. I give it a three and a half. It's not quite... It's not, to do, well, I guess, okay, I guess you go to five stars, four and a half. Um, it's not quite five stars for me because I don't like that format. I don't like having so many um, characters' point of views and etc. But overall, I think she nails it with the uh, descriptions, with how she draws you in because she just nails how people feel and everything and I just really think this is a great book and definitely worth your time to go pick up if you are into werewolves and such yes I mean it's more than just werewolves I mean that is kind of the underlying story as m more as the uh, between Sisson and Ezekiel about blurred over that um, Sisson and Ezekiel, they are humans, so it's more about their story, which is human. So, you know, if you just want a good romance, or not even a good romance, just a good, as it says, a human story. If you just want a good human story, definitely check it out. It is by Stella Jones, and it is called One More Time by A Human Story. And, yeah, that wraps up this video. So, I do that all the time. It's all right. You'll forgive me, hopefully, please. <laughs> if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Um, that tells me you like these. And if you have any comments, suggestions as to how I can do these better, if you, what would you like to know more, or as far as am I giving too much away, not enough, how can I do this better, how can I do this differently, I would love to hear your suggestions. I'm new to this, so anything and, any, anything and everything is definitely appreciated. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe on your way out. It's free, it's easy, just push that button. And yeah, that wraps up today's video. Said that twice, Jennifer. Said that twice. Have a great day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.